Here's how to do a self-test for COVID-19. Here are two COVID-19 self-test kits approved by the Ministry of Health. These are antigen rapid test kits, which are considered screening tests to detect the presence of the COVID-19 antigen. Now, they do not replace the gold standard RT-PCR test that confirms your COVID-19 status. And you can buy the self-test kits from authorized pharmacies or online for 39.90 ringgit. Both kits have a sensitivity of around 91% in generating a positive result and a specificity of 100% in generating a negative result, meaning there is a slight chance in producing false positives Therefore, if tested positive, you should always follow up with a RT-PCR test. So, how does the test work? Before you begin, 30 minutes before you conduct the test, make sure you rinse your mouth with water. Then, within that 30 minutes, do not eat, smoke, drink, chew, nothing. Nothing in your mouth. Then, right before you begin, make sure that your hands are clean by washing it for 20 seconds with soap or sanitizing. First, the Selexium test kit. This test requires a saliva and nasal swab sample. First, you want to take out the extraction buffer tube and insert it into the tube holder. Then, peel off the aluminium seal, but be careful not to spill the liquid. Take one disposable swab and swab the fabric tip on the inside of your left cheek up and down for at least five times. Repeat the steps on the right cheek and the palate. Avoid touching the tongue, teeth, and gums. Then, put the swab into the extraction tube. Next, remove the other disposable swab and insert the fabric tip into one nostril until you feel a slight resistance, approximately 2 cm up your nose. Roll the swab around the insides of the nostril, making 5 complete circles. Then do the same for the other nostril. Then put the swab into the tube. Make sure that the swab heads are completely immersed in the liquid inside the tube and mix it vigorously for at least 10 times. After that, squeeze the liquid from both swabs to retain the solution in the tube as much as possible. Then, discard the swabs in the waste bag and seal it tight. Cover the tube firmly and mix the sample solution thoroughly. Then tear open the pouch and remove the test device. Lay the device flat on the surface and label it if you need to. Add two drops of the sample solution to the sample well and make sure that there are no air bubbles. You must read the results within 10 to 15 minutes, not before and not after, for accuracy. Next, the GMATE. This test only requires a saliva sample with five simple steps. Step 1. Tear off the seal and connect the funnel to the reagent container. Spit your saliva into it until it reaches at least a quarter of the reagent container. Remove the funnel and put the cap on the container. Now squeeze the bottom here 20 times. Then shake 20 times to mix it. Once done, leave the container for 5 minutes. Then open the test kit. Drop 4 drops of your mixed reagent onto the test kit and wait for another 15 minutes. And here's how to read your results. Both results read the same and the red line next to C should always pop up for a valid result. If you only see one red line next to C, then chun, you have a negative result. If you see two lines next to T and C, even if it's faded, then chun. You're tested positive. But if no lines appear or only one line appears next to T, then your result is invalid and you should take another test. So, what do you do if you're tested positive? Whatever your results may be, you must report it on the Mice and Drafter app. Just click on the COVID-19 self-test button, choose the brand you used, and fill in your details. Then, follow up with a RT-PCR test for confirmation and to eliminate any false positives. What happens if you're tested negative but develop symptoms later? Go get checked and do a RT-PCR test immediately. If you're tested negative without any symptoms, stay home as much as you can. If you have to go out, follow SOPs, double mask, wash your hands frequently, and maintain social distancing.